Hello everyone, this is Displace. Phase 2 has been out for a week and although some of us are already level 40, most of us are probably not. So, for those people who are playing on limited time, you might be wondering, how long is it going to take me to get to level 40? Well, that's a good question and it's what we'll be exploring in this video. Before we get into all the numbers, if you can please subscribe to this channel and like the video, this is going to help my channel grow, which allows me to help even more people. And helping people is what I like to do. There are a lot of numbers and some number crunching, and I'll show it all to you. But I know numbers isn't for everyone, so I'll try not to bore you. With that, let's get into the video. Phase 2 increases the max level from 25 to 40. That's only 15 levels. So you might be thinking to yourself that it should take you approximately the same amount of time that it took you to get to 25. I mean, after all, you had 10 extra levels last phase. Well, maybe but probably not. Because the XP requirement increases by about 6% each level, you're looking at 850,400 XP in total to get from 25 to 40. Compared to the 304,000 XP that you needed to get from 1 to 25, you can see why this is going to take you a little bit more time. But the mobs give you more XP. Well, yes, but not at the same rate as the XP requirements. Mobs only increase by 5 XP per level. This means that if you just killed mobs to level at 24, you would need to kill 192 mobs to get to level 25. While you'll need to kill a staggering 357 mobs to get from level 39 to 40. Even if we were to kill one mob a minute, that would still take us about 6 hours to level. Now that you have a rough idea, let's get a little bit more fine grained. I've taken a look at how I've done at leveling in phase one and used some projections to estimate how long it will take to level in phase two. In phase one, I took a very casual approach to leveling, meaning that I took some time to browse the auction house, fill my waylaid supply boxes, and do some professions. I also ran dungeons and had leveled solo and in groups, so I have a wide variety of data. I tried to get as close to the casual player as possible. I leveled five tunes to level 25. A warlock, a rogue, a warrior, a priest, and a druid. I've done the same quest lines, but have varied my professions and dungeon runs. So looking at this chart, my fastest time to 25 was just over 26 hours on my priest. And my longest time was almost 40 hours with my rogue. The average, though, is about 32 hours to level from 1 to 25. I had to find out what the XP requirements were for each level. So I found a fantastic spreadsheet on Reddit that I've linked in the video description. I verified that this information is still accurate, so I then had to take a look at my XP per hour. This is the base for my calculation. Just like the time to level, I took the average XP per hour of my five tunes, shown here. As you can see, there's some outliers in each of the level brackets, but you can also see that they're mostly a pretty similar range for most of the levels. Because I've forgotten all of the math that I've learned in high school and in college, and because apparently math has changed somehow, I use the power of Google Sheets and put this into a graph and put a trend line on it. This allows me to see the average XP per hour I'm likely to get, so I can calculate how long it'll take for each level. So, how long will it actually take? Based upon my projections, it's going to take about two and a half hours for level 25, steadily increasing to up to five hours for level 39. This means if we just take the average, it's going to take about 55 and a half hours to go from 25 to 40. Because there's a big swing between levels in my data, as you can see in the graph, I gave it a plus or minus 20%. This means it's going to take anywhere from 44 hours to 66 hours to level. Now, you might be thinking that that's a long time to level, and it is. But there are some things that will make it faster or longer to level that you need to consider. Are you leveling in a group or solo? XP from mobs in a group is less than if you're doing it solo. So for the first 20 levels on my rogue, I was in a group with one other player. So the XP adjustment wasn't that bad. But as you can see, some levels did take longer than others. Are you doing dungeon runs? Dungeons give less XP per hour than questing. So if you're running dungeons more than once and have no quests, it actually might take you longer. 
It's always nice to take a break from questing and do a dungeon, especially if you have quests to complete in there, and that's my best advice. If you're lucky enough to get some good loot from dungeons, that can also help you level faster while you're questing and killing mobs. Popularity of a zone. When I started Phase 2 and was leveling from 25 to 27, Hillsbred Foothills was the place to be. This meant I was fighting with other players for quest mobs, and this caused a lot of waiting around for respawns. So Blizzard has issued a blue post stating that they're looking into spawn times, and as a short-term fix, they've adjusted how layering works. This is going to help, but you may still come across popular zones. Drop rates while questing. Drop rates are sometimes horrendous in Classic, depending upon the quest. For example, all the raptors in Baron have heads, but not all zebras have hooves. The lions in Hillsbrad are somehow able to live without blood, because it took me like 80 kills to get 10 blood. And apparently, not all humans in Hillsbrad have skulls. So this can dramatically affect how fast you can level and turn in the quest based upon how fast you get the quest items. Professions. Depending upon how important professions are to you, you can literally spend a few hours leveling this up. If you have gathering professions like mining or herbalism, running off to pick that flower or mine that node can add up over time. Spending time smelting ore and creating blacksmithing or engineering items can add up to a few hours if you do it while you're leveling. Runes. Finding all the runes takes time, especially if you have to run to multiple zones. The good news is usually these runes make you more powerful, which means it's easier to level. And rested XP. Are you playing on rested XP? That can give you 200% extra experience if you're rested. Did you get your sleeping bag? If not, I would take the time to do that. Not only does the sleeping bag give you 3% more XP for 2 hours, but it is reusable. And the quests that you do to get the sleeping bag give you an item called Student Fodder, which gives you 20% rested XP. If you haven't gotten your sleeping bag, I do have a video outlining everything that you need to do to get it. So please check it out. There's a lot of things that can affect your leveling. But as long as you're having fun, then that's all that really matters. Phase 2 is going to be here for a while, and getting to level 40 is easy even if it can take up to two days of playtime to reach. Let me know in the comments below how long it's taken you to level in Phase 2. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in Azeroth.